Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Krakenfall, and today we are reacting to another Let's Game It Out satisfactory video. I made the game unplayable with this gravity destroying tractor ball pit. I'm here, I have a cozy sweater on, I've uh, just got back out of being in the rain for several hours. Got a fire going downstairs in the fireplace. So get cozy, let's, uh, let's get ready to watch this. I have no idea what he's going to do. I, I know a little bit about vehicles in Satisfactory now. I, I've gotten far enough in the game that I've played around with vehicles. I've got trains, I've got the hyper uh, hyper tubes, I've got tractors going, or, or trucks. Um, I've heard that you can drive trucks off of like the side of the cliffs into the void in Satisfactory and that they'll just hang in the middle of the map, like they'll they'll never despawn and cause a bunch of, of like performance issues because they're just objects that are rendered, but even even though you don't see them. So I wonder I wonder what's gonna happen here. I, I see lots of tractors. What does gravity have to do with it? I have no idea. I mean, the hypertubes are the only thing that I can really think of that have to do with any kind of intense physics. And as always, if you haven't seen this video, please go over to Josh's video first. I'm gonna put a link right at the corner of the screen over there. Go ahead and click on it, watch it for the first time, enjoy it over on Let's Game It Out's video. Give Let's Game It Out the view that uh, he deserves. And, uh, and then you can come over and enjoy my reaction. So thanks. For doing that, let's get started. Hey there, this is Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. It's that time again. We're playing some Satisfactory. Just to catch everyone up, Satisfactory is an awesome game where people build efficient, streamlined factories. But if you're watching me, hopefully you're expecting to get something else, like weird pieces of modern art that destroy the frame rate. First, I started out by making stuff that looks like the LA freeways. Then I moved on to making conveyor belt tornado. I like how he... I mean, it's repetitive for us, but I, I like how he introduces the viewer into Satisfactory over and over, because more people should play Satisfactory. <laughs> Then I made this conveyor belt weave and we all cried, but you know that wasn't enough So we took power plants that were born to be on the ground and shoved them into this rock face Then we completed the tornado by building factories inside it and giving it a little hat And that's the day a I learned hat. I could play a game at one frame per second Oh, and also there's been an update that added stuff like this like this conveyor belt lifter thingy But the update added a lot of cool things that or I'm going senile But I think it unlocked these explosives here, which has like such an easy milestone cost We're just gonna go ahead and take care of it. So here's how this works. I come up to this terminal. It's like how bad do you want explosives? And I'm like, this bad. Here you go. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, send it to me. And then I push this button and I send a sacrifice to Space Jesus. Enjoy the material, Space <laughs> Jesus. Now we can scan for sulfur, which means if I select that, my guy pulls out his little gun thingy and it scans the entire... I don't like explosives that much because it blows up a lot of the trees and plants and stuff. And I want to keep as much of the environment around as possible. That being said, I really do like explosives. <laughs> the region tells me if there's sulfur nearby. And then I change down the sulfur with reckless abandon, dig it all up so I can blow stuff up later. We got ourselves a couple of objectives here. We of course need to make all these explosives. That's a no-brainer. But we also need a gas mask, which I thought I had all the materials, but we also need fabric. So we don't know how to make fabric, but if we go to our little research what is thing that? here, the man. Oh, that's the man. You tell it to research oh, mycelia. Cool. Here, you take this mycelia and you research it and you tell me some fun things about it, okay? This update also added like a fun car, which I just have to see. So we're gonna have to unlock that this time as well. I believe we need to find quartz for that? I don't know how to find quartz, so we're just gonna run around the map till we find it. Hey, what the heck is this? Are you a starfish? Space what is hall. this? Quartz? Tell oh, me that's more. Quartz? Oh, my heart is oh. all a flutter to analyze this. So look at that. One of the things we can make now is fabric. We just need more of this mycelia that I have no idea Boxing. where I originally I was trying to say picked Boxing it up. I think I picked this up when I was running around trying to find oil, so I guess we'll have to go out and get more of that. And also biomass. In order to get a lot of biomass, we're gonna have to go rip up some trees, which means pulling out the old friend, the chainsaw. Yeah, take that nature this will teach you to just exist on a planet yeah well, I, I know good. serves you right done asserting my dominance over you know plants just make ourselves a nice amount of biomass now let's head back into purple country out there which i think is where all the mycelia is can't wait for this to not hurt once i have a working gas mask until then i'm just gonna run through and breathe in the toxic fumes so what glad to have a gas mask this? now kate cater cater just give me it i'll be analyzing you next <laughs> can i cut this down is this a rock what is this well, <laughs> the answer is you can cut it down. There you go, look, you get mycelia from doing that. It's silica. Cool. So I'll just defile nature some more, and that's how I get my mycelia. Deep in my heart, I'm always hoping that's the solution. Fungus I can't forest. I possibly chainsaw this, can I? I feel like if you actually, as a human, went to a planet like this, you would die, like, pretty quick. Fungus, 
use spores to reproduce. There are a lot of spores and like fungus that are very harmful to humans. So I feel like if I spent like just a couple days here that you would you would die pretty quick. It reminds me of the expanse when they went to a new planet in another solar system through the gate and uh, people started to die because of fungus. I think it was fungus, wasn't it? I need to reread those books. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. I've never felt more like a hero than I did at that moment. Well, that was fun. Let's go weave some clothes or whatever. And how's this work? How do I shove this thing on my person? Just, there we go. There it is. Look, you can see it on me. This is how I'm going <laughs> to run the whole time. Just so I know I have it. I need to know what this is like. Let's run right into the poison. It's a good sound. Now I can finally examine these things. The sound figure of not out dying. How to exterminate them. Well, the chainsaw won't do it. I've got an idea of what will, and I think it's gonna need some black powder. So researching the quartz has unlocked something in tier four, the Explorer. This is a new vehicle which I deeply, desperately need. Now we can find raw quartz, set up a mining thing for that. Looks like the closest one is 1,496 meters away, which again, if I'm doing my math right, means it's about 17,000 football fields away. Well, let's go find it. Oh, ho! Oh. I guess it's down here in the land of the wiffle balls oh, good thing wiffle i've got this jet pack, so i can have a nice smooth re-entry oh god I like how if you look over here it's like <sighs> do people use wiffle balls anymore i use those so much it was so fun i played baseball as a kid and that was probably one of the few sports that i really liked a lot but i feel like wiffle balls are kind of like a pre-90s type of thing do people go outside anymore i don't know Wow, look at this alien planet. And then if you just look on the other side of it, it's like, wow, look at this awesome golf course. Well, shiver me timbers, this is where the quartz is. Beautiful uncut quartz. Perfect place for my beautiful minor Mark II. We're gonna build this in style with the Mark IV conveyor belt all the way back to home base, which really isn't that far. I mean, you can see the His diamond frame rate thing is from just here. And here come the minerals now. Let's so hope to never well, go out fine. there again. Of course, a bunch of raw quartz isn't gonna do us any good. Not without constructing it into something something beautiful. Send it on into this constructor here, and we'll have it make some beautiful quartz crystals. All right, it's car time. To do that, we're going to need to make some of these CD players. I'm sorry, they're called crystal that's oscillators, what, but really, yeah. come on. That's just like an that's alien what I disc too. man. God, look at that beauty. So we're going to use this car. We're going to see if we can find us some sulfur so we can unlock a bunch of fun explosives. Are you ready for an adventure? That's what I like to hear. Let's Wait, go. there's a We're horn? We're just going to drive right through this toxic pit. Does this thing have windows I can roll up? All right, yeah, we're just cruising. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, here it is. All right, we know the drill. First, we put down a minor Mark II. Just drop it right there. We only do Mark IV conveyor belts now. I'm not exactly sure where I should be running this to. You know, I feel like there's something weirdly poetic about having sulfur kind of just zigzag through a bunch of flammable gas here. <laughs> we'll go ahead and run this sulfur over here next to the quartz I have going on. You know, because I'm pretty sure sulfur and quartz have absolutely nothing in common. And in case you're curious where we are geographically to my other stuff, we just turn around. Here's the main base <laughs> and the spiral and all that stuff. So we got to make a couple things oh. now. First and foremost is black powder. All it takes is coal and sulfur. Well, I've got sulfur right here. Way in the background there, we've got some coal. I'm sure the coal's not going to mind if I just borrow a little. And we're going to feed everything into this assembler, which I'm going to just put up here for absolutely no reason. Yeah, good enough. Great. <laughs> no problem. Just connects like it's no big deal. And there we go. Black powder. The other thing we're going to want to build is this Nobelisk thing and the Nobelisk detonator. Now, before we automate that whole process, let's just go pick up the parts individually and make some by hand to make sure these explosives are worth it. We all know the answer is going to be yes because it's explosives we're talking about, but it never hurts to double check. Look at this. I, <laughs> I'm just so disappointed in how much my base looks like Josh's played through. I, I, I at least expand as I need things so I don't just like spread it out like Josh does but you know just look at it it's it's pretty bad I want to clean it up but it's kind of a testament to to my early early playthrough I'm going to be splitting in some uh, some of my footage of my of Tentacle Town so dumpster fire that is my base now. It's just like every which direction is some kind of spectacle. If it's not this thing it's this thing. Uh okay let's see I've got my thing here and do I just <laughs> so I can just run around and be obnoxious, which is kind of nice. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, this is like a handheld horn. Someone who plays this multiplayer, can you just run around annoying your friends with this? Oh, even uh, better, yeah. you can just hit it with this thing and make even more noise? Well, I guess let's just, uh, here. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, didn't kill Everything's him. still standing, including me. This is gonna require some more testing. So leave none of this to chance. I'll just put it right there. Oh, wow. These buildings are rather durable. Yeah, okay, oh. Surely this tree will take it, right? 
Okay, that's yeah. more like it. All your what buildings are invincible. Because I've been unable to figure out what to do about these things. Okay, I attached one right there. Let's try it. What does it take to destroy you? Mark my words. One day, maybe. It's really up to the game, actually. Now, overall, I've been pretty happy with the performance of this vehicle. Seems like it really does handle all kinds of terrain pretty well. But, you know, let's put it to the test. For example, I don't know if this thing's ever tried to climb the terrain of Slideshow. Oh my god, this is taking so long. I've been airborne this is like two for seconds like 15 per frame. seconds. All things considered, it's actually doing quite well on the weave. All right, I've got another idea. Just hold on a second. Oh let's just gosh. take some tractors and just, you know, Put them all around here. Whoa, what, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you two doing? You falling in love over there? What's happening? What the <laughs> hell is happening? Are the tractors alive? Does gravity not have any meaning anymore? All right, let me explain Wait. what I was trying to do here before this happened. I'm just trying to build like a tractor ball pit. But oh, <laughs> this is like, this is like Hydroneer. They must have collision boxes that expand beyond their texture model or something. What What is going on here? Maybe it's the wheels. I mean, okay, another another option would be the animations for the wheels, like the, the suspension for the wheels. So there's like a little bit of a give on the wheels and that's creating kind of a spring action when they're interacting with each other. Let's let's take a look. Like maybe the wheels are interacting the most. Otherwise it would just be the collision boxes, I would imagine. Now I can't help but feel like these tractors are actually alive. But surely in your head you can picture what I was picturing, right? Like like a monster truck rally and I'd be able to like ramp this thing. But instead, oh jeez. But instead it appears <laughs> I've created life. Eh, well, let's keep going anyway. I really want to see this ball pit. Alive or not. I have to like wrangle these I... things in because they keep escaping. This and is I'm sure awesome. you've noticed the frame rate just getting worse <laughs> is and this, worse here. Does this just still happen? Adam on the edge here. And they collide with the ramp and just kind of bounce in. It's like synchronized swimming. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Hello. <laughs> I can't contain these things. Come back. Well, that one's just getting away. I gotta admit, with all the weird stuff I've made in Satisfactory, picturing this aquarium with gravity-defying frames per second destroying sentient life, not exactly what I was expecting. That one. This guy's flying overhead. <laughs> that one like, got stuck in the, the ramp. Hell? Is that guy playing God down there? Frame rate's getting really bad. Oh no. Oh god, the tractor's sucking me in with it. Oh god, this isn't good. Now I'm down in here with the tractors. <laughs> I feel like this is what being around dinosaurs would have been like, where you're like, well, it's not exactly exactly their fault, oh. but they're still gonna murder you. How do I get out of here? Jetpack, jetpack, now's your chance, jetpack. Well, the truck shoved me through the floor. This is probably <laughs> for the better, actually. Oh, hey, more good news. Oh, how do you get out? All the other crazy- Well, uh, won't that kill you if you get shoved through the floor? Unless there's another floor underneath it. This reminds me of like, I don't know if you've ever been to a gymnastics gym and they have those like super foam cube pits. Uh, <laughs> I used to like crawl in those as a kid and just burrow underneath as far as I could get and like try and see if anybody could see me or because people could jump on the foam on top and it wouldn't hurt me. I would just be underneath there. <laughs> Easy things I've made, like the frame rate gets real bad if you look at it. Well, it turns out the tractor ball pit is persistent. Doesn't matter where I am or what I'm doing, the frame rate now is just awful. It's like I've come across some kind of like bug colony. There's just some like hanging around outside. And then there's some colony. slowly coming out of the anthill. Okay, so really I was picturing this different than it's gonna end up, since now just everything is a slideshow. I think I've added in about a thousand trucks, although it's hard to say how many have escaped. So we're gonna finish what we started. Here's what it looks like inside the pit. It's just an honest-to-god colony of tractors now. All right, you know hell with it. There is absolutely no- oh my god. The tractors are free. Okay, <laughs> it's a volcano. It's buggy time. It's a Pedal tractor volcano. This is legit flooring it. It says I'm going 51 kilometers an hour. I don't feel like we're going 60. This is real breathtaking, isn't it? All right, 60 kilometers is just what the explorer needs to overcome the frame rate. <laughs> Explorer, show us what you can do with this uneven terrain. Well, we've been eaten alive here in this gravity-defying singularity hell we've created. Okay, so I know that there's more for us to do, but I'm gonna have to spend some time cleaning up these tractors. There's no way I can keep playing the game at one frame per second. But hey, that was fun and unexpected, as it always is when you accidentally create new life. So thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. I know I definitely did. Go enjoy the nice, smooth frame rate of reality, and I'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs> that's cool it, that actually gives me a ton of ideas <laughs> it makes well okay i don't know if i can get back to update two anymore i probably have to go get like bootleg files for it but it reminds me of minecraft way back in the day during beta 
there was some kind of collision box issue, like a bug with the collision box, so that if you put two minecart tracks right next to each other, one was where your minecart, where you're gonna ride the cart, and then the other one was just two blocks of track next to it. You put two minecarts in the two blocks tracks. When your minecart goes through and brushes against the two stationary minecarts, it would cause a collision glitch and it would bounce. It would it would cause your cart that you're riding to just shoot out. It was like a rail gun. And we messed around with that, like but my buddies and I used to mess around with that in our server so much. We made we made carts, we made jumps, we made accelerator after accelerator. It makes me wonder if we could do this in Satisfactory Update 2. People told me last reaction that uh, Josh was playing on Update 2. So could we use the tractor in that in that fashion? Like, could we put two blocks and get the tractor pushing another tractor? Like, we probably have to close it on both sides and we would have to make sure that the tractors wouldn't get pushed through the floor or anything like that. But could we get the tractor to like bounce each other off and shoot you like a like a railgun or <laughs> or could we create a vertical railgun by creating a stack so that you use foundations to make a little hopper of of tractors so that we have a hollow tube of foundations and you put tractors inside and just stack them up so that they bounce and then could you could you put something in the bottom and then use a noblisk to explode it up and what would happen to the tractor at the top? Or could you shoot something that bounces off all the tractors? I don't know. That sounds fun. I wonder, I basically this episode I'm saying, Josh, what you did was fine. <laughs> this is awesome and I, I'm glad you did it. I love, I love glitches like that. Yeah, I definitely would have loved to have tested that out if I had known about Satisfactory back in the day. Josh doesn't disappoint. So... Thanks again for a wonderful episode. And uh, I think that that wraps it up. If you like this episode, please click like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. I do have a satisfactory Let's Play series of my own. I just figured out HyperTubes at the time of this recording. I've also got uh, some other games coming up and some other videos. So uh, subscribe for more. Yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.